Governor Greg Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and new Speaker of the Texas House Dennis Bonin held their first joint news conference today. Without giving specifics, they say the goal of this session is to increase state funding for public schools while lowering property taxes. So, what does that mean for your community and your schools? Our Steve Pickett visited the Wiley School District today. He joins us live from Tibbles Elementary School in Murphy. Yeah, we really talked to a number of people here, including the superintendent of the school district, regarding this. $137 million pays for this school district, teachers, technology, security, uh, and many people here talked about this issue of funding, saying the state is not adequately funding schools and believe they're relying too much on people's property taxes. Okay, so let's do this Abby's way. 650 kindergarten through fourth graders crowd into every corner and crevice of this 13-year-old Wiley ISD school. Well, uh, we've been paying more for a property tax. Most students come from the expanding and property value increasing houses that surround Tibbles Elementary. The school Michaela Arun Pradit's children attended and the school district she finances through rising property taxes. It is a little bit high because in other areas in states like California and Arkansas, their, their property tax is a lot lower. Arun Pradit's higher tax bill is coupled with lower education funding allocation from the state. School funding is ever increasingly being paid for by property taxes. Wiley School District Superintendent David Vinson says all public schools need not only increased funding from lawmakers, but a funding structure that helps homeowners. How it's paid for concerns me because I'm worried about my moms and dads that are working two jobs and trying to stay in their house. Governor Abbott today. I heard it. I know everybody on the ballot heard it. And so we come to session uh, this particular year uh, with a voter mandate that we address these issues. Okay, so add those. That mandate issued from schools and from the people paying for them. Many people here say yes, they also heard it. Now they like to see it. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.